peace family this is coach chris your intuitive holistic coach coming to give y'all another reading i hope that everybody is well i hope that you are loving on yourself protecting yourself and living righteously doing your thing okay family i just saw ash from the um incense that i'm burning i don't know if y'all can see it's right there can you nope y'all can't see it's not in the camera <laughs> But um, I'm burning some dragon's blood uh, incense. And what I want to say, y'all know this is the year of the dragon as well. So a lot of star seeds, indigos, you know, all those different types of people are coming. The chosen ones are coming, rising up and awakening. So, and do y'all feel the energy have like, have y'all feel? You can let me know in the comments down below. Have y'all been feeling the energy to shift? Have you been feeling? Well, I mean, <laughs> it's been different. Like, you feel the full moon energy from Virgo. You feel you've probably been releasing a lot. And then um, also, if you've already done, because I typically feel the energy way before it comes. But if you've already felt that releasing energy and you you gotten kind of gotten out of that and now you feel the shift that happened after you released that other stuff and you can feel all your manifestations coming through and you can feel like you, you're already in that other place. Like, it's kind of like, I, I don't know how to explain it. Like, I've been that way most of my life just like watching life happen. Like, my body would be here, and I would be alert, I would be aware, I would know what's going on, but, like, my soul would just be watching. It's different. <laughs> I don't know how to explain it. You may, somebody watching this may be able to relate, but anyway, let's clear the energy, family, because I can't explain it. <laughs> Oh, so we are going to start with some tarot and we're going to see what's what so spirit guides divine ancestors we want messages from you and only you we ask for your protection during this reading and right now family y'all better be seeking your protections from your angels you guys especially if you are growing spiritually and like i said you're you're sensitive you're empathetic you can feel the energies before they actually come into the physical a lot of um the more you rise like they say new levels new devils so you um and i saw the devil card too <laughs> um you certain energies want to work with you and some want to um inhabit you some want to possess you because they are they are not in the physical they don't have the human form so that's a lot of times why people fall into depression or they fall into uh they have like bipolar disorder and split personalities and stuff like that because they unknowingly invited energies and entities into them and um you know those energies are not letting go without a fight and sometimes they'll take the person with them so family protect yourself during this time protect yourself at all times honestly get your crystals use your sage your palo santos your florida water you know what i'm saying your spiritual baths whatever you need to do anointing oils whatever you need to do protect yourself say your prayers speak protection and life over you work with your angels archangel michael is the best for me anyway <laughs> there's other angels you can work with uh, is it metatron or something like that there's other protection angels you can work with but figure out who you want to work with work with them and get it right and make sure you do you do your due diligence study before you just tap into all kinds of energies too family all right let's get to the reading because <laughs> it's like four minutes in and I've been, I feel like I've been ranting. Okay, so Lord, Spirit, God, Divine, Ancestors, we ask for your protection during this reading. We ask for your guidance and clarity along our journey. And we want to thank you in advance for the messages that you give us today. I share what messages we have for the collective. Okay, and that was loud too. 
we have the emperor haha <laughs> told you y'all felt that energy justice yes the chariot movement progress family judgment so see the <laughs> You are growing, you are evolving, you are reaching higher heights, family. Uh, oh my God, okay, the four of pinnacles. So you, and then right after that, the ten of pinnacles. So you're probably coming from a place where you may have had to pay close attention to your finances or sources. I don't feel like it's coming from like a place of poverty. I feel like sources telling you to pay attention to your finances. Keep a close eye on your finances. Don't just go blowing it. Don't just go splurging because... Your Ten of Pentacles is right up, right here in your energy. <laughs> so don't go and waste your money. And right up underneath, uh, right above the Ten of Pentacles is the Justice card balance. So you want to, and look, uh, and above the Emperor, I mean, above the Four of Pentacles is the Emperor card. So that's like the Emperor can, uh, is about control and leadership. And they, um, there's Entrepreneur too. So it's, you also watch your money is what source is saying. Pay close attention to your money. Invest it wisely. Because are you you're already going to the Ten of Pentacles, baby? Look, look, look. I ain't I haven't seen the Ten of Pentacles in a minute. <laughs> so look at that. I'm so grateful. And the Ten of Pentacles is Virgo energy too. With this Virgo full moon coming in. Yes, sir. I say I told it's I'm gonna do a, a Virgo full moon reading tomorrow. Not tonight. I mean, I could make this the Virgo. No, because I didn't put out that intention. But I'm going to do a Virgo. And Source told me to do it tomorrow on the 22nd. So full moon and Virgo reading will be done tomorrow. But this reading right here is pulling on that energy, I say. Source Spirit, guys. And that Emperor uh, Aries energy. <laughs> Source Spirit, guys, divine ancestors. What other messages do we have for the collective? Source Spirit Guides, Divine Ancestors. The, it was inverse. The Two of Swords. Source Spirit Guides, Divine Ancestors. What other messages do we have for the collective today? From the Light Series deck, we have, they just come in a day. The um, Six of Cups, Ace of Cups, yes, yes. The Moon. What? <laughs> Okay, look at here. Now, you just told me that this is not the new moon, the, the full moon in Virgo reading. But y'all see this full moon, the moon card. Oh, y'all can't see it. The moon card. The full, it's a full moon on this moon card. Right up underneath the Ten of Pentacles, which is Virgo energy. And then the Justice card right up top. <laughs> well, hey. I'm still going to do I'm going to do a full moon and Virgo reading tomorrow. But Source said. <laughs> source, Spirit, God, Divine, Ancestors. What other messages do we have for the collective from the Light Spheres Tarot deck? Source, Spirit, God, Divine, Ancestors. Two more cards from the Light Spheres Tarot deck for the collective. Okay. Can you clarify this reading? For the collective with two more cards from the light fair set to me. Thank you. So spirit guys on the ancestors. Two more cards. I think I need to shuffle these. Hold on, family. Ace of Pentacles and the King of Cups at the bottom of the deck. Some emotional maturity has happened. And new um ace of ooh. Look at the devil. <laughs> the nine of cups and the ace of pentacles again. So wish fulfillment and new money is coming in, family. New ideas are coming in too. So it's great that the ancestors take two more cards for the collector to complete this reading today for a spirit guide ancestors. Two more cards for the collector to complete this reading. We have the page of pentacles. Source Spirit Guides. One more card for the collective. So like I said, new money is coming in. <laughs> Just say that. New money is coming in, family. Source Spirit Guides. Divine Ancestors. So seeds that you planted are starting to bloom, family. Source Spirit Guides. Divine Ancestors. One more card for the collective from the Light Spirit's deck. Source Spirit Guides. Divine Ancestors. Eight of Cups. 
So releasing to this is looking has looking like the um what do you call it? But it's not. I do I'm gonna do one tomorrow. But this is pulling on the energy <laughs> for the full moon in Virgo. It's pulling on the energy. Okay. Um Okay, family. So what we have here today is the Emperor card, Justice, the Chariot, and Judgment. The whole top row, family. The whole top row is Major Arcana. The whole top row is Major Arcana. 1044. <laughs> 1044 on the clock. The whole top row is Major Arcana, family. That's a big deal, y'all. I told y'all, y'all manifestations, big things are coming in for y'all. New love is coming in. New emotions are coming in. So it's a fresh start from this. Because the Two of Swords is in reverse. So whatever um, confusion was going on, whatever mental blockages, whatever um, stagnancy, whatever was holding you back mentally that made you think that that made you think that all of this stuff was not coming through was not coming true all of that is gone you have been elevated you have released oh my god okay did i finish reading all of this but i'm gonna come back y'all to that but <laughs> this last row it has the eight of cups at the bottom six of cups and then the judgment card so you have released the past you have released the old ways you have released or you are releasing your childish ways you're releasing the old you that you that had you confused you're releasing that and <laughs> you are elevating and evolving you have growth family you have grown you are no longer <laughs> You are no longer a little bitty babe. You're no longer immature. You're no longer naive. People can't mistreat, mishandle, and manipulate you. Because a lot of that was going on with this, with the two of swords in reverse. You were being manipulated, mishandled, misused, and abused. Probably stolen from <laughs> with the four of um, pinnacles. That's why you were holding on so tight to your money. <laughs> because people were trying to steal from you. And they, still, they were stealing your ideas probably that could have made you a lot of money with the two of swords. Um, God, okay, this is beautiful. Okay, so let me get back to reading off the card so y'all can know what's on here. But y'all gonna see it in a little... Anyway, Emperor, Justice, the Chariot, Judgment, Four of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles. Two of Swords in Reverse, Six of Cups, Ace of Cups, The Moon, um, Page of Pentacles, and Eight of Cups. Okay. So, <laughs> whatever is hidden is being revealed with the Judgment card. Whatever you didn't know, that's why that Two of Swords is in Reverse as well. Whatever you didn't know is coming to the light, is being revealed. Whatever no longer serves you, you are releasing or it is being taken away. <laughs> um, and new things are happening. New emotions are coming out. Like the emotions that were suppressed, your, the childlike energy, who you were before the world jacked you up, before you were indoctrinated, before you were brainwashed, before you were blindfolded and manipulated. The person the being that you were before all these things before the confusion that was hidden and suppressed underneath all of this underneath this confusion and it's it's done it the the wheel has turned it's flipped upside down that's over with you have released that source has released those binds that curse you have been released from that curse there's no more confusion there's no more. And then again with the moon card and the six of cups. It's like maybe you have been going through like some nostalgia. Maybe you have been fantasizing about your past. So it says you got to let that go. It is, it is done. 
You are moving on. You are progressing in life. Source is Source is guiding you and propelling you to your ten of pentacles, to your emperor status. You are about to get justice for all of the hurt, the pain, all of the struggles, all of the trauma that you went through in your childhood, in your um, young adulthood, your teenage years, whatever you, whatever you had your trauma, you are about to get healed from that. You are about to gain balance or you have already. Some of you have already done that. Some of you, like I said, you're already in that energy. You're past the releasing energy. And you are already in the energy of um, receiving. You're in the energy of getting your inheritance. You're in the energy of making things happen. And you're, all, you're about your business. Whatever dreams, whatever seeds that you planted, they are blooming. And you are about to enter into emperor status. That is where you're going. That is the trajectory of your life. From these seeds that you planted, they are blooming. And you are going to emperor status. You hear me? There's progress in all of the work that you did. The groundwork. The roots that you planted. They are blooming family. They are moving, pushing themselves out of the dirt and the mud that you were forced into. They are growing. You are growing. You are evolving. And I'm so proud of you. <laughs> I'm so proud of you, family. This is life. He has the picture of the unk, a tattoo of the unk on his arm. This is life. You are regaining. You are getting a new life, family. Full of happy emotions. Full of joy. Full of peace. Full of reciprocity. Full of... <laughs> Look at that. And this, this big old circle right here is like the world. Like you, you get in the whole world. And then this is half of the circle. So you're getting what's inside too. You're not just getting the outside. You're not just getting the shell of something. You're not just going to look like you're doing something. You're going to have it all. Inside and out. You're going to get fulfillment, family. Everything. The Ten of Pentacles. You're going to get fulfillment. Generational wealth. Legacy. Dynasty. Your children's children's children are going to live off of what you built. Family. You did that. Pat yourself on the back. Give yourself a hug. Write yourself a love letter. <laughs> Right, Chelsea. You remember? I don't know if y'all remember. If y'all saw that thing when Snoop Dogg got on and um got up to do a speech, and he was like, "I want to thank me. First of all, I want to thank me." And and everybody was like, "Oh my God, I'm KD." And no, yes, yes. Thank you. You deserve. You deserve the honor. You deserve the accolades. You did your damn thing. You hear me? You came through with the come through. You, <laughs> this was a lot. This was not easy. This was not easy. Releasing was not easy, but you did it. And that's what caused you to evolve, to grow, to elevate. Family. <laughs> Family, I love y'all. Y'all, look, you. When I tell you, <laughs> do your release. Your release ritual for the full moon in Virgo coming up on uh, Saturday the 24th. Do your release with that. Figure out now. Start thinking about now what it is that you want to release. Um, I'm definitely still going to do a release even though I have released earlier. I've been feeling the energy since last week and I've been releasing. But I'm still going to do a release on that night. And then um, also you want to you know connect with your angels your guides let them know thank them for everything that's about to come in because y'all you have to be so freaking blessed if y'all feel what i if y'all could feel what i'm feeling right now if y'all could feel how abundant you are about to be like your your people going to be wishing that they live the life that your pets are living <laughs> 
People are going to be jealous of your pets. Do you hear me? They're going to be like, I can't believe this. How they... And then y'all see what's going on in the world. Y'all see how, you know, people are struggling. People are going through things. And you were in that energy for a while. But that's over with. Because you know now that it's mental. 2-2-2 two, two, two on the clock. 22-22. You know, and I've been seeing that all day long, y'all. Two, I've been seeing so many repetitive numbers all day long today. I've been seeing 222 A lot, though, mostly today, I've been, I've been seeing 4442. I was trying to see if it was another four on this table, y'all. There's only two fours, though. <laughs> the Emperor and the Four of Pentacles. But 222, I have been seeing 222 all day long and i wrote down and i gotta go through a few hold on two 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 i wrote down what it meant like um i was scrolling earlier and i saw um something that said uh it said pack your bags you are moving to a place called unexpected financial blessings Everything you touch will turn to gold. And I was the 37,222 like. And it was 12.22 p.m. When I saw that and when I liked it. <laughs> and then something else. And I said, uh, OMG. Um, on a post, it says, tell me you're rich without saying you're rich. And it was like this dad. Oh, look at it. Look at this. It was like this dad. Um uh welcoming his child home after school coming off the school bus and it was like tell me you're rich without telling me without saying you're rich and it had 2223 likes so another 222 and then um i looked up while i was scrolling and on my i was on my call and the time was at 20 minutes and 22 seconds what i just said a minute ago it was at 20 minutes and 22 seconds and then it say I put her on hold at 22.02. And then I was doing stuff. And then um, at 2.22, that's when I, at 2.22 p.m., um, I looked at my clock again. And then I wrote down what it meant. Because I'm like, I'm seeing this number way too much for me not to write this, write it down and figure out what it means. So it says 222 symbolizes balance, harmony, and spiritual alignment. It encourages um, enhanced connections in personal and professional life. 222 signifies good fortune and finances, relationships, and career, as well as a reminder to work towards your soul's purpose. <sighs> Family, what I tell y'all alignment alignment when i tell you follow your gut when i tell you listen to your angels listen to your guides when i tell you stay connected like <laughs> your creator your the divine source is gonna come to you they gonna make it clear what time it is okay they're gonna make it clear what time it is you just need to pay attention stay alert okay don't get stuck in this energy. You're coming out. If any of y'all are stuck in this energy, you are coming out of this energy, okay? Don't get stuck in your head. The The messages that I just gave you, that was for you too because I wouldn't have wrote it down if it wasn't because I see repetitive numbers a lot. And I see, um, I get a lot of messages and symbols. There's a lot of things that I don't post that I see uh, messages um, that I get from stores. But when it's for me to share with y'all, it's because it's meant for y'all. And as y'all can see, in all of that that I read, it said it talked about balance. It talked about financial abundance. It talked about family, friendship, stuff like this. Six of Cups is family, nostalgia. Ten of Pentacles is family, legacy, justice, balance, <laughs> progress, the chariot. Like, y'all, the emperor, come on now. Ace of Cups. It, <laughs> everything is happening in divine time and trust and believe that you are on the right path. Four, four, four. It was 24, four, four on the clock. And I saw that earlier too. 444 four, four is important too, family. Y'all, I love y'all. This is, I tell you, I told y'all this energy that I have been feeling. 
that has been coming in, whatever it is that you are working on, whatever it is that you know is yours, you know your destiny, you know your purpose, you know what you need to be doing, that's what you need to get into because this energy that's coming in is going to like propel you 10 times further than you know anything else. So you might want to take advantage of this energy that's coming in and at least if you don't take a step towards um your purpose of what you want to do you want to lay down the foundation you want to write down a blueprint you want to study you want to research so that when you do get ready to make a step you'll already have all of the tools and all the information that you need family that's what source is saying okay source spirit guides ancestors we want to thank you so much for that tower reading it was amazing we love you and we are grateful now we want to get some messages from the gateway of light activation oracle card for my galactic family so spirit guides ancestors we ask for your protection during this reading we ask for your guidance and we ask for your um clarity as well so here we go so spirit guides divine ancestors what messages do you have for the collector from the um galactic oracle deck so spirit guides divine ancestors what messages do you have for the collector from the galactic Light activation off the deck. So, Spirit Guides of Divine Ancestors, do we have any messages for the collective from this deck, or did you want me to choose a different one? So, Spirit Guides of Divine Ancestors, any messages from the Galactic Gateway <laughs> Oracle Activation Deck? One more shuffle. So, Spirit Guides. Okay. <laughs> Halls of Amenti Initiation. Oh, I've been waiting for this card to come out because in other readings, I pulled other cards and they always reference the Amenti. So, here we go, family. Here we go. <laughs> oh, and it says, Secrets Revealed, Treasures Uncovered, Initiations, Family. See, don't rush Source. I, be, I get impatient sometimes, y'all. But don't rush Source. Source know exactly what Source is doing. Secrets revealed, and then I say the moon card is coming to the light. Whatever secrets, whatever was hidden is coming to the light, baby. Secrets are being revealed. Treasures are being uncovered. You are going through an initiation. I told you you are evolving and right next to the judgment card family. Poor oh, spirit, God's divine ancestors. I love you. I'm not going to rush y'all no more. <laughs> what other messages do we have for the collector from the galactic deck? Poor oh, spirit, God's ancestors. What are the messages? There's two of them. So we have the crown chakra upgrades. <laughs> upgrade, Sally. Upgrade. I can upgrade you. But now let me upgrade you. <laughs> Y'all getting upgraded, family. Crown chakra upgrade. Divine connection. Holy experiences. Miraculous energy, baby. Miraculous energy. is <laughs> what... That's you, energy. I just heard that song, energy. I don't even really like that song, but okay. The next card is Akashic Stargate, aligned with purpose. <laughs> Crossroads, no wrong path. You, man, source be sourcing, sourcing. Girl, you know how I do. You know what time it is. Don't ever doubt me. Don't you ever doubt source. Don't doubt yourself. Don't doubt your your council family. So spirit guys, ancestors, one more card for the collector from the galactic uh, light activation deck. So spirit guys, ancestors, one more card for the collective, please and thank you. So spirit guys, ancestors, just one more card for the collective. Oh, and I saw this and I thought, okay, purple, the purple flame family. Chamber of Violet Flame, Karmic Release, Radical Transformation. And why is it right next to the Eight of Cups and the Six of Cups? <laughs> Soul Star Activation at the bottom of the deck, family. It was just 29, 29 on the clock. Soul Star Activation, Fulfilling Soul Contracts, Remembering Who the You Are. Didn't I say earlier, you are remembering who you are, who you who you were before they came and messed you up, before you were indoctrinated, before... Okay, we're going to take that. <laughs> we have to. 
And uh, up under there, it says Stellar Gateway Activation, Infinite Potential Manifestation Vortex. We can take that too. And that's that. Okay, family. <laughs> we gonna take, we, we got two extras because it, it, it aligns. And Thor said to take them. That is crazy. That is, that is source though. Like a, a source. All right, family. So what are we starting with? Okay, so we are going to start here with the Halls of Amenti Initiation. Initiation is a start, is a beginning. This is... Thank you, Thoris. We love you so much. We appreciate you and all that you do. Okay. Halls of Amenti Initiation 76. Okay. So, okay, family, that is the Halls of Amenti. Okay, so it says secrets revealed, treasures uncovered, initiations. The Halls of Amenti are a sacred learning space that were energetically transported from Thoth by Thoth from Atlantis to the spiritual plane before Atlantis came to an end. It is said that the portal to this etheric retreat is energetically connected to the Great Pyramid of Giza. Many believe that the physical remains of these halls can be found there. We don't have to physically visit Egypt to access their energies, though. The halls of Amenti are said to have been the home of the Emerald Tablet. They are a space of ancient mysteries in service to the expansion of humanity. On this card, you will see two pillars, an echo of the two pillars that have been found in sacred places throughout history. The black pillar represents the physical world and the white pillar represents the spiritual, indicating that this sacred space is between the worlds. If you feel called to these halls, or they seem oddly familiar, there is a chance you have visited them in dream time or even before this incarnation. And at the beginning of this reading, I was telling you about how, um, <laughs> how I would be like here in the physical, but I would be watching things that's happening as if like just being objective. And that's like a place that a lot of spiritualists or a lot of shaman and a lot of, and I was a shaman in the past, like, but a lot of shaman and people like that, that's what they work towards becoming objective becoming um not being involved in everything that's going on looking at it from the outside and not putting yourself in it if that makes sense but let's keep going how to connect imagine you are the great pyramid above its apex a portal opens drawing you in see yourself at the center of a sacred temple Set clear intentions to align with your higher purpose and receive a transmission of ancient wisdom. Your message, you are in a deep initiatory chamber at this time. You might feel that things are heavy. Oh, I just, okay, that things are heavy and challenging, but know that a reconfiguration is happening. I, I stop because um, it's page number 77, y'all. That's a master number. <laughs> I was just talking about shamans. <laughs> Energetically, you are going through an initiation that will allow you to go beyond the fears of the ego and transcend the limitations of the physical realm. You might not feel that light is present because you are in the middle of this phase at the moment, but know that it is present within you. You might be feeling frustrated or overwhelmed, but a lot of this anxiety is actually old energies <laughs> that were stored in the depths of your body being released so that your vibration can rise. Oh my God. Old energies being released so your vibration can rise, family. Old energies being released so your vibration can rise. 34, 34 on the clock, family. And this is that stagnation. This is the... <laughs> Thank you, Source. We love you. <laughs> source just stay sourcing, confirming, and I love it. Okay, so now 
We're going to move on to the Chamber of Violet Flame family. Karmic Relief. <sighs> we energy. I just can't stop smiling if y'all look at my cheeks. <laughs> I just can't stop smiling. Chamber of Violent Flame. 55. Another master number. Change is happening, family. Okay. So, karmic release, radical transformation. The Violet Flame is a spiritual retreat space that holds a powerful energy of transformation and transmutation. It can be visited in meditation and invoked through prayer and affirmation. Spiritually, it is seen within a chamber, often as a giant roaring flame, and sometimes with silver and gold shining through the violet. When we connect with the violet flame, we are being given the opportunity to detach from lower vibrational experiences and turn darkness into light, you alchemists. Ultimately, this is the gateway of alchemy. <laughs> alchemy is the art of turning lead into gold. And so from an energetic perspective, the violet flame is where we place all that is leaden and heavy in our life and turn it into golden opportunity. <sighs> How to connect. Visualize a fiery violet light streaming down from the heavens and washing over your entire life. Set the intention that you are willing to transmute all fear and experience light once more. Because that's your birthright, family. You are, you are of light. All that darkness they force upon you during the age of Pisces. When, you know, I'm not going to get into that, but... <laughs> That it, that's not yours. That's not your portion. This is your portion. Okay. This is your portion. The Ten of Pentacles. The Ace of um, Cups. Justice. That's what's happening. You're getting back in balance. Source is bringing you back to who you are. Who you were brought here to be. To be a leader. To be a guide. Ashe family. Now your message. When you receive this card... Know that the violet flame of transformation has been brought to you by your angels and guides. They are encouraging you to see that you are in a space of radical transformation. Transformation can be overwhelming, but know the hand of the divine is leading the way. All past trauma is now being cleared from your energy. Stay focused on releasing all of the energies that no longer serving that no longer serves you. The violet flame is here to transmute fear into love. If any fear is rising up inside you now, know that it is simply a call for love. Call in the strongest form of love you know and allow those in your inner circle to support you through this transformational time. You are an alchemist with the capacity to take all of the leaden aspects of your life and turn them into golden opportunities. You can align your life with the divine plan now and live in a more purposeful way. I say, get aligned, family, <laughs> in a more purposeful way, family. And the next card after that, fam, is the... Soul star activation, fulfilling soul contracts, remembering who you are. Okay, let's see. Remembering who you are, family. Okay. The soul star chakra is the energy center that is found around 6 to 12 inches, 15 to 30 centimeters above the crown and connects us directly with soul wisdom. It is our gateway to the etheric realms, which hold all of the lessons of all the incarnations that we have experienced. Through our soul star, we access information and wisdom like a computer connecting to the internet through broadband. Instead of having to move through the dimensions to access the information, we can remain connected at all times and download support as necessary. The Egyptian god Horus appears on this card as our spiritual guide. His hawk-headed, I had a chill. His hawk-headed image is said to illustrate his connection to the sun, moon, and stars. 
As a keeper of energetic portals to hidden realms, he can help us remember our starry origins, open psychic vision, and connect directly with the wisdom that is held in the stars. How to connect. Imagine yourself in a wide open space under a night sky filled with stars. Say, Horus, cosmic sky guardian, thank you for activating my soul star chakra so that I can remember on a soul level important your message through your previous journeys you have learned much about the inner workings of your soul and about the cycles of karma before this incarnation you set a powerful intention to remember your divine origins at this point you are in a powerful space for you are remembering who you truly are and you know that you have it within you to make a great difference in your own life lives of those you love, and of course the world. This remembering is in alignment with the soul contracts you made before coming to this realm. If you find yourself worrying if you are making the right decisions, know that even if you aren't conscious of it, all that you have chosen so far is in accordance with your soul's evolutionary plan. And when you draw this gateway, you are opening up on higher levels, family. Everything that you went through was meant to get you to where you are now. And every decision that you make going forward is meant to get you to where you are supposed to go. You have contracts already. Everything was already mapped out. Things may not have seemed fair. You may not have liked it. But before you came here, you knew what it was. You agreed to the things that are that took place and that are taking place. But the same way you have free will and you have choice the people who you had those experiences with they have free will and they had choices that they could make too they may have made bad choices but you got to release that let that go forgive them forgive yourself for not being able to protect yourself during those times and move on because you are ascending family you move into higher heights and new levels don't hold on to the past. Release it. Let it go, family. Utilize this full moon in Virgo to clear that shit out. Virgo going to look through every nick and cranny to get it all gone for you, okay? <laughs> all right, family. Next card is um, Crown Chakra Upgrade, Divine Connection, Holy Experiences, Miraculous Energy. Okay, Crown Chakra Upgrade, family. Alright, 58. Let's see. I feel like you probably have been getting upgrades in your sleep, so you've been having dreams. Energies and entities have been probably visiting you in your dreams, too. And you're just getting upgrades and uh, downloads and uploads while you are asleep just so you know make sure you protect yourself though so you're getting it from the right energies okay so the crown chakra is the energy center found at the top of the head often symbolized by a thousand petaled lotus it governs our connection to wisdom both internal and that of source opening the crown chakra represents connecting deeply with the heart of source and drawing down inspiration and insight this card transports us to a sacred hall with pillars representing the divine connections to source and a gateway that is guarded by a white dove, symbolizing the Holy Spirit. It may seem as though this is another realm or dimension. Ultimately, it is found within. We are all facets of Holy Spirit incarnate. This card calls us home to ourselves, encouraging us to claim our divinity family <laughs> how to connect visualize the crown of your head opening up and bursting with infinite clear and rainbow light send a signal from your crown up into the heart of heaven visualize streams of consciousness pouring into you listen deeply your message your crown chakra has been upgraded. The spiritual connections you have always had are now being acknowledged. The parts of yourself that you have run from or ignored are being reclaimed. This is an important time 
for you are uncovering gifts and wisdom and moving through healing. You may have experienced moments that have tested your faith and your belief in the divine. Know that it's okay and no grievances are being held against you. The Holy Spirit is with you and within you. This is a coming home to your truest self. <laughs> you are also being encouraged to prepare yourself for miracles. Expect to experience wonder and blessings for you are being surrounded by healing light. Divine encounters and holy experiences are happening around you. If you have had a challenging relationship with spirituality or religion in the past, this has now been healed and you can move forward in an authentic way. Experiencing the divine on a personal level and beyond the limitations of unnecessary dogma. <laughs> I was just talking about that with the age of Pisces, y'all. Unless I didn't want to get into it, it was a lot of dogma during that. Because Pisces energy is powerful. And the, the powers that were, because they no longer are, they are crumbling. We're using that energy and harnessing all of our energy. But we are free now. It is the age of Aquarius, power to the people. So you are no longer, um, you are beyond the limitations of unnecessary dogma family. And you are connected, okay? Your crown chakra is connected to the divine, your, an your ancestors, your creator, Ashe family. Now the next card is Akashic Stargate. Says, um, aligned with purpose, crossroads, no wrong path. Let's see. Kashik Stargate 37. I have it underlined. <laughs> yeah, I have it underlined. Okay. A Stargate is a portal that can take us through space and time to a whole other universe. Is based on a concept of the Einstein Rosen Bridge, or what is also known as a wormhole, where a speculative structure linking different points of space time is created. In spirituality, a stargate is less about traveling on a physical three dimensional level and more about making progress on the spiritual. A feature of many spiritual traditions is the idea that all of us have a stargate in our heart that connects us with the central lattice of consciousness, the divine matrix. The Buddha acknowledged we were the universe while Jesus said the kingdom of heaven is within you. The Akashic stargate transports us to a space where we are given the opportunity to make a decision to accelerate the realization of our life's purpose. How to connect. Visualize yourself at a crossroads. Tune into the direction that feels most joyful, light, and loving. Imagine yourself walking that road. See all that it brings you. Your message. Whenever the Akashic Stargate is presented to you, it's because you're at a critical point on your journey. You have the opportunity to move in a particular direction and you have to make a decision. This can feel overwhelming and you may be waiting for someone or something to make the decision for you. But you aren't here to walk a path that was set for you. You're here to walk a path that you have chosen. The next phase of your journey cannot unfold until you decide which way to go. Know that whatever direction you take and whatever decision you make, you'll always be on the right path. No matter how you get there, you'll always end up in a similar space. Also know that purpose isn't about doing your duty. It's about living life and experiencing joy, family. Source has been revealing that to me. <laughs> oh my God. It's uh, another thing that I say. Progress, not perfection. And me as a Virgo and people think that we want things perfect. It's not that we want things perfect. It's just that we can always see how it can be better. And we can't help that. It's the way that we were programmed. It's the way that we were designed. Trust me, we try to fight it. And then we just about lose our mind. So <laughs> it's like damned if we do and damned if we don't. We can't. It's, it's rough, y'all. 
That's why I say in my life, balance is what I've been. I, I had a Libra child. Source, my rising is Libra. I have been, Libra is what is going to help me ascend, basically. Libra energy, justice, balance. Balance is what I'm focusing on in my life. Um, if you read your birth chart, you can see what it is that you need to focus on. But <laughs> family, we are growing. We are ascending. And it's just beautiful and amazing. And let me read this next part. I'm just so proud of y'all. I'm so grateful. Y'all are... <sighs> my, my soul tribe. Okay, next card is Stellar Gateway Activation Infinite Potential Manifestation Vortex. You manifest those seeds you planted, my love. They are blooming. Okay, that is 147. Your seeds are blooming, family. I saw something earlier that said it always gets worse before it gets better. And I got some stuff underlined for that, too. For this one too. Okay. The stellar gateway is the highest of our chakras and is found about 12 to 24 feet, three to six meters above our head. It is the energetic gateway that connects us with the divine matrix. It governs our connection to the spiritual laws of creation and the quantum field and holds our life's potential as it holds all the intentions that we set before this incarnation and all the intentions we've set during it that support the ever unfolding path of our earthly experience. Energetically, this portal is beyond time and space. And when we connect with it, we come into alignment with all the aspects of our soul's journey, including when we were part of the cosmos. This card transports us to a stargate that has a, a giant pyramid within it. Above the stargate, there are three dimensional images of Thoth, the former priest king of Atlantis, who is one of the ancient masters holding the secrets of the universe. This image is a reminder of our potential and of our ancient and starry connections. The pyramid is a symbol of rising power and of how our soul has existed through lifetimes. The stargate is a projection of our own stellar gateway. This card is therefore a reminder that all things are possible and that with the right alignment, we can draw the powers of heaven down to earth in order to create heaven on earth. We're creating the heaven, new heaven on earth, family. How to connect. Breathe deeply. Imagine that your breath is taking you up and out to connect with the infinite potential held within the stars. And affirm, I connect with heaven and earth to create heaven on earth. I'm going to say that three times, family. I connect with heaven and earth to create heaven on earth. I connect with heaven and earth to create heaven on earth. I shave, family. That might be the title of the video. <laughs> okay, your message. You are a master of manifestation. Every one of your thoughts, actions, non-actions, and choices is affecting the unfolding of your path. Realize that you have great potential and power within you. And through your focused awareness, you can draw on heavenly support to create the life of your wildest dreams. Know that all the energies you connect with are carried up to your stellar gateway. And if they are aligned with the intentions your soul had before this incarnation, opportunities will come your way. It is important to consider connecting with your cosmic origins at this time and also tracking down the intentions of your soul. For if you can bring your wishes in this life together with your pre-life intentions, you can live a life that is aligned with the highest heavens. I shave family. Thank you, Source, for this reading. This is amazing. Y'all, you are aligning with, aligning with your highest self. You are connected. You are evolving. You are growing. What was hidden is coming to the light. What was stolen from you is being returned tenfold. All those things that no longer serve you are being released. You are transforming. You are fulfilling 
your soul contracts, family. Those contracts that you signed before you came here, you're fulfilling those. You're fulfilling fulfilling prophecies. You're <laughs> with the moon card and the hall of Amenti initiation. Secrets are being revealed. You are uncovering the treasures. And in a few a few readings before, I was saying, if you haven't seen the channel uh, message one that I did. You might want to go back and watch that because I and there I said that I had um, realized that I had a lot of buried treasures from me doing my healing work. There's a lot of that's another part of getting to know yourself. You are in a manifestation vortex at this time. That is why it's important for you to release all those things that no longer serve you, all those things that could hinder you. Because when you are in this manifestation vortex, when you are when you are the magician whatever you think whatever you say whatever you feel you are creating things you are making magic you are bringing things into the physical world you don't want to bring anything into the physical world that's going to cause you to be within this energy so that's why you have to get out of this energy that's why it's in reverse because you are about to be very very your, your powers are about to get heightened you're going to a whole other level of manifestation family you're in a manifestation vortex so i need you to release baby release 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 with this virgo I, that virgo energy is going to check every nook and cranny and get rid of everything that no longer serves you. Think about it starting today. What you need to release. What no longer serves you. What you don't want to take with you on this new path. On this new journey. This new dimension. This new paradigm that you are shifting into. Whatever it is that you don't want to take with you. Do not take it. People, places, things, mindsets, emotions, memories. Don't take it with you. Release it with this full moon in Virgo. And then open up your arms and your heart and receive all of these blessings that are coming into you. Because you have no idea. It's going to be on a whole other, whole other level, family. Like you, like how I said earlier, how I just used to be watching things happening. Like my physical body was here, but I used to watch things happen. I was inside me, uh, either sometimes, you know not but i'll be watching the things that are happening sometimes i could see things from above the situations that's happening and that you know <laughs> and look at the judgment card family you're going to higher heights you're going to a whole new level find balance release and find balance and get ready to open your arms i saw 57 57 on the clock Open your arms because get ready to receive because you are about to receive some things, family. And it's it's coming in heavy, tenfold, big, massive. You hear me? All right, fam. That is it. That is all. I love y'all. Y'all have a great day. Have a great life. Have a good, clear mind. Focus. No confusion. No stagnation. <laughs> no drama. Release that trauma. And live your best life because it's coming in. I want to see y'all living and being happy and free, okay? I love y'all. Be blessed. Peace. Ashe family. And like, share, and subscribe. Almost forgot. <laughs>